All right, let's go through setting up video 101 of playback to be used with SFX. First thing we want to do is head over to our download section on our website, and we want to look at the SFX 6 files. If you scroll down the bottom, you'll find the video 101 manager setup. Uh, you could either download it via FTP or HTTP. Uh, go ahead, download it, and then we'll run the uh, application. Okay, so installing Video 101, uh, just hit Next through the whole process. It will go ahead and install it, and we hit Finish. After the program is on your computer, you could go into the uh, Start menu. Uh, all programs, you want to look at the uh, Stage Research folder, and then you'll find the Video 101 Manager in there, and go ahead and run it. That will put a new icon in your system tray that when you double click on it will load the manager program. So if you go ahead and do that here, I'm going to close our website. For a quick test to make sure that everything is working, uh, the first thing that's going to happen is once you run Video 101 Manager, Windows may detect that it's trying to open up uh, port 3805 it opens up port 3805 so that SFX could send Telnet commands to that particular port. Uh, to do some testing, I'm going to run Telnet. And you'll see if I open local host on port 3805, Video 1 Manager responds. You can see in the window that it's now saying that 127.001 has connected, and you'll see that in Telnet, uh, it's sent back a command saying that it's okay. If you want to know the list of the commands, you just go ahead and hit a question mark, and it will show you all the particular commands that you could use. So for a quick test, we're going to open a video. We're going to give it the ID of 1, and videos uh, w.mpg, I believe. So I type in the command open, I give it a ID, in this case the number 1, and then the name of the file. I hit enter, it goes out, and you'll notice that in the video manager, it uh, reflects the command in here, and then it returns an OK. Now if I just say play 1, and hit enter, you'll see that it begins to play. Uh, I could then stop 1. Uh, I could then fade one to a particular level in so many seconds. Ah. If I spell it right, it'll work better. And it's not plain, so that's why it went white. Uh, so I'm going to go say play one, and I'm going to fade one to 100% in four seconds. And if you're playing two videos, that's how you do a crossfade. You'd fade an ID of one effect out while you're fading the ID of another effect in. And we're going to stop, and we're going to close. Then it goes away. And you'll notice, again, in the video manager, all the messages are in here that Telnet has sent. Now, to get SFX to work with this, uh, let me show you how to make that happen. So I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to fire up SFX. Okay, now with SFX running, first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new production. I'll call this Video Test. Don't need to worry about the audio engine. When you play video using SFX, it is going to send audio out of the default audio device. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Creates my show. All right. So under production properties, the first thing we have to do is set up SFX to tell it where to send these Telnet commands. So click on Telnet patch, create a new patch. Physical device is local host. 3805 is the port that we want to talk to keep it active, and we're going to call this video pl 
playback. Now in SFX, drag in a telnet command. And the telnet command you want to type in basically exactly what you would type in from telnet. So we're going to open, give it an ID. We're going to call it videos WMPG. I'm going to hit enter to make sure that there is a character return at the end of line and we're going to call, tell it video playback. I'm going to separate these one per each queue for this example. So I'm going to drag in another telnet command and this one is going to be play one. Hit enter and video playback. And then one more telnet command which is going to be uh, we'll just close one and hit enter. So video playback. All right, so Q1, go ahead and hit go on it. Notice that it showed you that it opened C videos uh, at WMPEG. The next command is my play command. I hit go, and you can see the video begins to play. And I'm going to hit go again, which is going to close the video. Now you can cascade these effects all in one effect itself. So we're going to open one C colon videos w.mpg. We're going to then play one. And we'll do the video playback. Now I'm going to hit go on that. And then it begins to play. And I know this is my stop command, so that'll close it. All right, there's one other thing that we need to uh, do, and this will be a little bit difficult because of my monitor setup. I have two monitors, and the way that you place a video on a specific monitor is use the display command. So back here, we're going to play or display video one on monitor two which is my other monitor, so you're not actually going to see this work, but we'll go ahead and give it a go. Um, cue that up. Hit go. And right now it is playing on my other monitor. And of course, we could go ahead and close it. And be done. So that is how uh, you should be able to get video to play using S of X and our free Video 101 Manager. When you use Video 101, the best operating system to use it with is going to be uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, Windows XP, you will actually see stepping when it does crossfade. So if you're just going to do straight video and not do any crossfading, XP should be able to work fine for you. Another thing to consider is that if you've turned off all the eye candy in Windows 7 or Windows 8, uh, video will not play well. Uh, make sure that all the video playback stuff is turned on and so on. So that's how you get video to play with S of X.